This is the weekly weather forecast video for Monday, June the 25th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, we have Tropical Storm Debbie just off the Florida coast with the heavy rain over Florida, some cloudiness in New England, a little bit over the west, and the rest of the, the nation is clear and quiet. The watch warning map, however, is not very quiet. It's a little before midnight last night. There's the tropical storm warnings in the Gulf, tornado watch in Florida, red flag warnings in the west, bit of flooding in Minnesota, and some flooding up in Maine as well. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Friday evening at 7 o'clock shows some very heavy amounts over the Florida Panhandle. 23 inches of rain there possible. Around here we could get some rain and this will hold off till the end of the week, however. Up until then, with the, we'll have some dry weather, weather, weather here with the 0Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon of 594 Ridge. Pumping up the heat and pumping up the jet stream and keeping a lot of the rain well away. Although the GFS wants to paint some rain, the chances of that are probably, well, none. So, But it'll be a little cooler to start off the week with that high pressure as it moves down here into the Great Lakes here for Tuesday. But southerly winds will take hold. Temperatures will start to warm from highs today in the 70s and 80s into the 80s. And then by Wednesday, winds sweep into the from the southwest, temperatures well into the 90s, maybe approaching the 100 degree level in far western Iowa and especially in the plains. And by Thursday, it'll be about the same, although the GFS again wants to paint a little bit of shower activity. That's possible, but doubtful. And you can see Debbie, according to the GFS, moving across Florida and into the Atlantic, whereas some models of it going straight north into Florida and into Georgia. But here by Friday around here, we have a frontal system that will stall across our area, so there could be some shower and thunderstorm activity even here into Saturday. So Friday, Saturday, we could there could be some activity, but the chances of it happening, maybe 20% or less, and a lot of it will be during the nighttime hours. Sunday, most of the rain looks to be moving at least to our north. There's where the GFS prints Debbie near Cape or just off of Cape Hatteras. And a week from today, next Monday, we have a trough over the west. The ridge still over the south and east, but it's not as strong as earlier. And still, we have some activity to our north, some to our west. Debbie off the Carolina coast, at least at this point. Around here, seasonal temperatures. Maybe a slightly a bit above average for highs. A couple days later here on the 4th of July. This is the first model we've seen of the 4th of July where it's not going to rain. So our chances of seeing rain on the 4th of July are dimming. And even a couple days later here on July the 7th, here's the ridge back again. Although not as strong as the one of this week. Trough over the Canadian Maritimes, one over the north and west. And at the surface, we'll be just on the one side of the heat of a new heat ridge that could bring some shower and thunderstorm activity, but summertime convection is very hard to pinpoint even this far out, so we'll take it with a grain of salt, and we'll take this with a grain of salt here at the end of the forecast, July 10th. There's a 594 ridge just to our north. Main storm track well into Canada, and when the storms are well into Canada, that keeps us fairly dry with a couple of popcorn storms around to our south and to our east and temperatures looking to warm back up once again. Now time for the weekly weather forecast.
Thank you for tuning in to our weekly weather forecast video. We'll have our regular forecast video on Tuesday.